this is Tom Modi with ChurchAudioSupply.com and today we're going to talk about microphone cable and in particular microphone cable that's to be installed in your ceiling, in your wall, uh, in your floor, if you're going to be rewiring your church, your school, uh, your home studio or even a conference center. Now most microphone cable that you're probably familiar with it looks like this. It's a rubbery jacket, it's kind of thick, um, it's flexible and uh, this will go directly from your microphone right to a wall plate or to your uh, box snake or directly into your mixer and this cable we have in blue today we have lots of different colors at churchaudiosupply.com however this is not the cable you're going to want to use to install into your wall reason being it's not fire code rated uh, CL rated jacketing is very important on your cable because it does meet uh, fire code and building requirements that you're going to have and this uh, cable that I'm holding right here is fire code rated. Big difference in the way that this looks as opposed to the blue cable I was just holding. When somebody gets a hold of a uh, R installation rated microphone cable single run, the first thing they're going to notice this is really thin. And I have had people call me up and say, you know, what is this cheap cable that you've sold me to put in the wall? Uh uh, this is made exactly as it's supposed to for installation. Um, first thing you'll notice, it's not very flexible. Uh, I mean, it's, you could use this, I've used it, you know, outside the wall too, to, to wire, uh, you know, directly to a mixer, but mostly this goes in the wall. It'll perform fine no matter how you use it as a microphone application. But because you can twist it and bend it and it will somewhat hold its form, when you fish it into conduit, when you're trying to fish it into your ceiling or run it long distances uh, on your floor, the cable isn't going to bunch up on you. It can be run straight and still hold its shape. Uh, that's very important for when you're trying to fish this into some pretty tight spots in your installation. Um, the jacketing is a plasticky feeling which helps it of course with that uh, you know that firmness to the to the jacket. Now like most microphone cable it has two conductors um, and it also has in this particular case a ground wire. Now most uh, microphone cable that's braided uh, you'll braid that uh, ground or that shielding together and, and use that as part of your, your pin contacts. In this case, this has its very own ground wire and a 100% foil coverage. Now I have put this into hundreds of churches, I've sold hundreds and thousands of feet of this cable. Nobody has ever, uh, at least to this recording, had to pull this out of their wall based on performance um, or any other issue that didn't, you know, didn't meet their applications that they were looking for. This is a great cable to put in your wall. Do not be fooled by the thin jacketing. Uh, it's a 22 gauge cable. It's absolutely perfect for anything you're going to be doing. Recording, live sound, doesn't matter. This is the cable you're going to want in your wall. However, lots of times you're going to be wiring up many channels and uh, some people do prefer to run multiple runs of single cable. That's why it's so thin. Imagine trying to put 24 channels into a one inch conduit. Uh, can become very dicey. So uh, it's made very thin so that you're able to run this properly uh, and without issue uh, in, in bunches with say 24 or even 32 or 48 channel runs. However there is a better way to do something like that of course and that is to use snake cable. This snake cable we have here is a four channel and uh, this ha actually has a rubbery jacket like the uh, blue microphone cable I was holding earlier. The reason for the rubber jacket here is that we do also use this um, in our snake boxes. We do use this for our fan to fan snakes and you're going to want to be able to roll them up at the end of the night. Um, so it does have the rubber jacket but it does meet the CL fire code rating requirement for installation. Inside the outer rubber jacket, the nice thing about our snake cable is that each channel is individually jacketed and numbered. So they'll be numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4. If you had 48, they'd be numbered like 1 through 48. Uh, and again, these are channels, um, not conductors. Each channel, each individually jacketed white channel here, has two conductors inside, right here. It also has the ground wire and the foil shield, just like our single run mic too. So this is like having four of this cable in the same jacket. And you all can figure out the convenience of that if you have a... Uh, 24 channel uh, board or if you've got a wall plate that's got four connectors on it you're going to want to try and uh, run as, as little cable as possible into your wall. Uh, you'd like to do it maybe run it one time and be done with it. 
and this is the cable that you would use. Now we sell this snake cable in a lot of different channels. As I said, I'm holding the four channel here, but you could get this all the way up to 58 channel. So it makes it very convenient if you've got a 100 foot run and you've got to run 24 channels to your mixing board, we have a uh, version that will do that for you. Um, so you'll be able to make one run, have all the connectors in one spot. Uh, if you've got a six channel wall plate, you can just use six pair cable and run from wall plate to wall plate. One thing that confuses people a lot about microphone cable is what the actual applications are for it because this is also considered to be balance line cable, low impedance cable, um, so it has a lot of different terminology that can confuse people. But as a balance line cable, my cable can be used to, of course, wire XLR jacks, which have three pins. It's also used for headphone jacks or stereo jacks, as some people call them, quarter-inch stereo jacks. So if you have a headphone input, here is your tip and your ring and then your, um, your ground or your sleeve connection, which means TRS, tip ring sleeve. This cable is used for, for headphones. So if you have a wall plate in your wall and you're in a studio and you want to be able to wire up not only the microphone, but the uh, headphone jack that they'll be wearing, you can use the same cable. So you could run uh, a, a four channel of this and have two, uh, two mic inputs and two headphone jacks in the same plate using the same wire. Uh, this can even be wired up mono uh, for, for guitar runs. You would just take the two conductors and twist them together. Um, you want to be careful how long you're going to run this without using a, a direct box to change the impedances, but for short runs, you know, this could be used for any uh, of your wiring applications. Now at Church Audio Supply we actually sell this installation rated microphone cable in thousand foot spools and we'll also sell to you by the foot. So if you just need a ten foot piece you know we'll gladly cut that for you. It does also come in a lot of different colors. Uh, we have browns and grays and blues and greens um, that you can purchase if you want to be able to separate out colors in your channels. But you know if you're just installing it you're not going to see it so normally a, a black cable will work fine. So in closing, again, don't let the thin cable fool you here. This is the proper cable to use for low impedance or microphone applications. If you're going to be putting it into a duct system uh, or an air vent, you're going to need what's called a plenum rating. But just lying it in a conduit across your wall or floor or ceiling, CL rating is the proper rating to use. And at Church Audio Supply, you know, we've wired hundreds and hundreds of churches with this stuff. No issues. It's perfect. Check out our website, give us a call. I'm there to help you out, answer all your questions for wiring and what's the proper application and lengths. But you can run this you know, a few hundred feet easy um, without any problems. Have a great day.